on uh, Sunday. Uh, just your comments and your reactions and your response, uh, first of all, to the response, uh, responders, their actions, and also just about it even having happened in the first place. I'll start with Hassan and, and come down this way. You know, accidents are only accidents when they can, they're not avoidable. It's something you don't expect. It's something you can't plan for. That was not an accident. Uh, that was negligence. And uh, I think action should be taken. Uh, I don't understand why there are no divers to try and help you know, those, uh, th that family. I don't understand why something was not done, you know, uh, fast enough. You know, however, it speaks to the larger uh, theme of uh, lack of preparedness when it comes to certain disasters. You know, now, I'm hoping this ferry business is actually going to be forgotten and we're going to actually just build a bridge. This makes a lot more sense for us in the long run than having some little boats, you know, ferrying people. We, we, we need to change the strategy and the paradigm. All right, Irungu? Last week, we, um, I think as a panel, we called for three things in the context of uh, precious talent. We called for suspension, um, basically for uh, officers to be suspended and investigated for negligence. We called for the school to be closed and um, a uh, wide, uh, um, I guess, uh, inquiry to be uh, entered into to, to look at the safety in our schools. And lastly, we um, spoke about the need for the uh, owner of the school to face prosecution. All those three things happened in the course of last week. So I don't know whether the authorities were watching us or whether we were simply echoing uh, their sense of responsibility. So I would start by congratulating the Ministry of Education. Uh, I would also congratulate the county governor, although um, the 12 suspensions seem to be a quite excessive and across the board. I think he even suspended uh, one person who, had, who was already on suspension, so he was suspended twice. Uh, but I think the actions were in the right direction and um, it has continued, I think, with the uh, offer of buses for the uh, children to be relocated to other schools. Big issue. Uh, last uh, 10 seconds on the um, horrible accident again, or the horrible incident, I don't call it an accident, uh, that happened in the ferry. The ferry basically takes 300,000 people um, uh, regularly. It is not something we should take lightly. And once again, like 2016 and like 1994, we have loss of life. I think people need to be held responsible. Okay. Dr. Yeah, all of the disaster response unit uh, in this country is itself a disaster. Um, those people who that, that was not an accident, it's negligence, as Dr. Kanenji has said. And those people that we see speaking on television from the Kenya Ferry Services, the board, they really should not be speaking on television. Yeah, no. They should be in committee. You guys should be going there to interview them. Mm -hmm. All right. Happy you well, you, really, you went under. Uh, you should, you <laughs> yeah. should appoint Abbas Gulait as a czar for disaster preparedness and give him access to resources so that when something happens in this country, he can do his job. He's the best man for the job. The president ought to do that right away. All right. Oh. You both, we call it under running, that's what I mean. <laughs> when you, you've done less than the 30 seconds. Oh, so it's oh, good, it's good though. Anything. Yes, Professor Only, <laughs> only if, if this situation happened in South um, Korea, or Japan, the person who would resign or kill themselves. Oh. It is about time that in this country we take things very seriously about ourselves and about the future. Uh, we must fight corruption. Uh, we must fight it with everything we, uh, we have. And every Kenyan must be accountable, stone by stone, change it so that this country can be better. Okay. Dr. Mustafa, you said those who are speaking should not be speaking. They should be in committee. But what about those who are asking? What about the other leaders that have not spoken out about this? You know, the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure, I haven't heard the Cabinet Secretary speaking about this issue. Yeah. This is right yeah. on his docket. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. he is the one who should... By now, we should have reprimanded, you know, the... The people who are responsible at yeah. the Kenya Ferry Services. There is a whole board that operates and uh, 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 manage, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, a f or, uh, some ferries that ply 500 meters, only 500 meters, and that's it. They can't manage. I saw those ramps; they are all down. They are, you know, water is, ca is, is coming in. And that's unacceptable. Those guys should should not be speaking. Right. They should have resigned. That in in, okay. in by the way, in okay. Japan, that kind of people they look for a shrine and commit suicide. All right. And on that note, uh, we.